Uh, now, allied health professionals at the radiography department of the Kolebu Teaching Hospital say they will embark on a full force strike from 8, 8 a.m. on May 15. When the news team visited the hospital's other department, the hospital, other departments were all uh, geared up to begin on Wednesday. Members are striking over what they say is a failure of government to include them on proposed teaching hospital board, among other demands. The radiography department at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital handles 50 CT and 15 MRI cases daily. Radiographers told the news team they are currently about 15 booked MRI cases to attend to. The department on May 14 attended to children and emergency cases. The plan was to have a full sit-down strike, but because of uh, emergencies and babies which were booked a week before, we had to start and do them today. So that's basically what we did today, so that at least you won't shorten the government and the babies who are here. So we were able to do them, clear all those cases for today. But the situation would be different from Wednesday, May 15. We're going to have a full sit down. We're going to come to work, but we are not going to attend to patients. That's what's going to happen from tomorrow morning. From tomorrow, we are not even attending to emergencies. From tomorrow, we want the government to know that this is a matter of life and death. And so tomorrow, we are not even attending to emergencies. Chairman of the Ghana Federation of Allied Health Professions, Dr. Ignatius Winibuno, says the implications will be tough for the country. It's not a pleasant situation for us at all. But we just want that uh, justice should be done uh, uh, for, for, for us to be able to return so that we can give you the maximum quality of care. In fact, if we don't have the peace of mind, the kind of care we'll give you uh, will be substandard. The Ghana Society for Medical Physics representative on the Federation, Dr. Isahaku Shiraz, says all attempts to get governance for engagements have proved futile. Trying for the past two months, we send letters upon letters, not even an acknowledgement. Somewhere, I think, early part of last year, we met and there was to be a follow-up. Letters upon letters, just not even a simple acknowledgement. I will receive your letter, I'm out of, out of town, I'll call you, give me some more time, would have been at least pleasing. He basically refused to call us. I don't know whether he, he, he thinks we are not important, but he refused to call us and therefore we've not been able to meet him since then. The Federation is made up of about 18 groups within the health sector. Let's now engage the chairperson on the Health Committee of Parliament and MP for Brikum East, Dr. Kwabina Chum Nyama. Good evening, and sir, thank you very much. Uh, the draft amendment to Act 524, with specific reference to the membership of boards of the teaching hospitals, is this before Parliament? Good evening, Stephen, and good evening to your viewers. Um, first of all, I want to say that I'm really scandalized by uh, this act by the Allied Professional Health Group. Um, as you asked, it is true that there is Act 525. It is before Parliament. It has been referred to the Committee on Health by the Speaker. And as part of our engagement, we have requested for memoranda in the major newspapers requesting for any interested uh, uh, person to bring memoranda to the committee mm. for us to consider. As I'm sure you are aware, when a bill is brought to parliament, the first is taken to the first reading. That is when it's laid in parliament. The speaker refers it to a respective select committee to go and consider. That is where the committee can, will invite for memoranda from interested parties to consider. And then the report is brought back to Parliament where it is debated right. uh, by members, which is the second reading. From there, we move to what we call the consideration stage, where each of the clauses in the bill is taken through by members of Parliament each member has the opportunity to move any amendment he or she uh, prefers. And when 
the members present agree to it. It is me part of the act eventually. When it is finally passed, the president has changed and it becomes a law. Right. So so, so we understand, Honorable, yeah. we understand the processes that this has to go through. But the point you're making, if I can understand you, is that the the association didn't have any right to 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 go on demonstration or they're doing this in bad faith. I am I am completely scandalized. The Senate before Parliament, the people's representatives, we have requested for memoranda from anybody who wants to. And truly, we have had a lot of memoranda from various groups, including the Allied Health Professional Council. Their leaders have even met me before they brought the memoranda. I have told them the committee will consider we need to even call them to talk to them in a meeting. We will do so. As you know, Parliament is on recess. We haven't dealt with the second reading constitution state. So there are several steps. I mean, the constitution didn't just say that before a bill is passed into law, it has to go through several right. processes. So it will enable anybody with a grievance to have a hearing. But, um, I mean, what they are doing, I to say the least, is like uh, subjecting the innocent patients, using them as pawns, I mean, I don't understand. Is that they want to blackmail Parliament? Mm. They, they should just calm down. Then we, we, we right. have a long way to go. We will invite everybody, listen to their grievances. If at the end of the day, Parliament sees uh, that the, uh, what they are requesting for should be done, it will obviously right. be done. The right. bill is not law at the moment. All right, uh, Honorable, uh, we're grateful for your time. I'm afraid we have to run. Honorable uh, Kwabina Chumnyama is the MP for Breakumi.